Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating a dorsal or also known as a thoracic view. And the routine views for the dorsal will be an AP, lateral, and a swimmer's view. So the film size we're going to use for the AP and the lateral is a 14 by 17 lengthwise. The swimmers will use a 10 by 12 lengthwise. The patient will be lying on the table, uh, supine. We're going to have uh, the shield that we're going to lay across the patient. We're going to have the patient to actually bend their knees up for us. And what that does, it helps to actually straighten the spine and reduce some uh, uh, the OID uh, on the spine for us. And then there's a couple things we want to go over here. One is when we're doing a dorsal, we can use a couple different things. Because of the thickness uh, of the, the thoracic area here, but it's also air filled, then the thickness as we go down into the abdomen area, uh, it's, it's actually fluid filled. And so in order to remain, keep the, a constant contrast for the whole the entire thoracic spine, there's a couple things we might have to do on the AP. One is we can use a simple saline bag that we actually lay on the patient's chest and that thickness and that fluid will actually help us to keep us uh, the same contrast for the entire AP spine. We can also use uh, the anode hill effect and the anode hill effect is actually in play with this machine and what we tell you to remember on this is fat cat. So the abdomen area uh, we're going to call the fat area where the fat would be will be on the cathode end so fat cat so this is the cathode so this actual room is set up so that the patient laying here is on the uh, table using the anode hill effect you can also have uh, there's actually a, uh, a way that you can slide in a filter here that you can use also some sites would have that so there's three different options you can use for the AP as far as keeping the contrast the same so we are center locked and center to our film and now what we want to do is when we center, we want to center uh, at the MSP. We want to have end up with the film about one and a half to two inches above uh, the top of the shoulders. Very similar to uh, a chest x-ray as far as up and down. And we're going to again center to the MSP. Our collimation should be about five to six inches wide. And then we're going to use, uh, I need to grab my markers here, I'm sorry. And we're going to have uh, right marker we can either place here uh, or if you place it inside here you can actually pull the tube across as long as you're in the center of the film we can verify that yes it will indeed be in the light field and then recenter okay respirations will be uh, suspend uh, on uh, expiration uh, what that does it actually helps to uh, keep a constant uh, airflow in the thorax and it keeps uh, the, the density will, will stay better. It will actually be a uh, better density in the thoracic area. So again, this is the AP thoracic view. Now we're going to have the patient to roll up onto their left side. <coughs> and again, we're going to put the shield across the patient. We do want to make sure that the patient is uh, in a good true lateral. You can see she's rotated a little bit. Or, or we're going to have to straighten her up. We'll push her hips forward. I'm just going to verify, and I usually run my hand down the back just trying to make and verify that the patient is indeed straight. As far as film size, 14 by 17, and it will be lengthwise. Okay. The centering is going to be, we're going to find the MCP of the patient, and after we find the MCP, then we're going to go halfway between that and the outer part of the back, and that's our centering crosswise on the patient. As far as centering up and down the patient, we're going to have the film about at the level of the shoulders, and that's because we're going to be doing a swimmer's view to get the upper shoulders. So the top of the film should be about the level of the, uh, the film. We do want to use a lead blocker because the lead blocker is going to help us to actually catch the scatter x-ray and keeps the uh, uh, film from being so gray. Excuse me. We're going to use the left marker. As far as the marker goes, we can put the marker here in the front as long as it's in the corner there. We're going to uh, make sure that our collimation should be approximately to the hour borders up and down and about again uh, about five inches wide here. Our, our respirations are actually on this will be a breathing uh, for the patient. We're trying to use a breathing technique so that we can actually use breathing to help us. It helps to blur out the ribs and lung markings. So technical factors will be about 500 mass at 55 kV. 
And again, this is done on a breathing technique. This will be our lateral. Now when we do our swimmer's view, we're going to have to change films. We use a 10 by 12 lengthwise. Okay, and what we're going to do is actually have the patient bring their right arm down by their side. The left arm is going to be higher. And this gets its name as a swimmer's view because it's very similar to what a person looks like as they're swimming. Again, we do want to make sure the patient stays very straight. We're going to have her relax the shoulder down. Okay. And our centering is going to be at the MCP. And it's going to be about two inches down from the top of the shoulder. It's approximately two inches down. And our collimation will be to the IR borders up and down and about four or five inches wide and this is going to uh, we're trying to just get we need to see C7 and we need to see T1 and T2 which is what is best demonstrated on this view now the technical factors are going to increase it's going to go up to about 640 mass at 57 kV uh, very thick as far as the part goes respirations will be again a breathing technique trying to blur out uh, the, the ribs and lung markings and this will be our dorsal or thoracic x-ray. Yes, and I did forget, uh, which is a critical error so you all don't want to do, is to put your marker placement, you can put it here, you can actually put it on the film, but we want to make sure it's not under the lead blocker, as long as you put it, uh, it's in the light field but not obstructing uh, on the patient. And again, this is our thoracic and